Next, we are going to read Why Exploring the Ocean is Mankind's Next Giant Leap. Commentary by Philip Cousteau. Here's some background about Philip Cousteau. Today, concerns over the ocean environment and potential economic and technological benefits are spurring greater interest in deep sea exploration. Philip Cousteau is the grandson of Jacques Cousteau, the explorer whose 1960s television show revealed undersea wonders. Philip Cousteau shares his grandfather's passion for ocean conservation, and he reports regularly on environmental and humanitarian stories from around the world. Why Exploring the Ocean is Mankind's Next Giant Leap, commentary by Philip Cousteau. Space, the final frontier. Not only has this classic phrase dazzled the many millions of fans of the Star Trek franchise, some could argue it has defined a big part of the American ideal for the last 50 years. The 1960s were dominated by the race to the moon, and Americans were rightfully proud to be the first nation to make it there. However, another incredible feat happened in 1960. That is largely forgotten today. For the first time in history, on January 23, 1960, two men, Lieutenant Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, descended to the deepest part of the ocean, the bottom of the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, located in the Western Pacific Ocean. While this feat made international news, the race to the depths of this planet was quickly overshadowed by the race to the moon and no one has ever gone that deep since. And for the last 50 years, we have largely continued to look up, but that trend may be changing. In July 20, 2011, the space shuttle program that had promised to revolutionize space travel by making it relatively affordable and accessible came to an end after 30 years. Those three decades provided numerous technological, scientific, and diplomatic firsts. With an estimated price tag of nearly 200 billion, the program had its champions and its detractors. It was, however, a source of pride for the United States, capturing the American spirit of innovation and leadership. With the iconic space program ending, many people have asked, what's next? What is the next giant leap in scientific and technological innovation? Today, a possible answer to that question has been announced, and it does not entail straining our necks to look skyward. Finally, there is a growing recognition that some of the most important discoveries and opportunities for innovation may lie beneath what covers more than 70% of our planet, the ocean. You may think I'm doing my grandfather Jacques Yves Cousteau and my father Philip a disservice when I say we've only dipped our toes in the water when it comes to ocean exploration. After all, my grandfather co-invented the modern scuba system, and the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau introduced generations to the wonders of the ocean. In the decades since, we've only explored about 10% of the ocean, an essential resource and complex environment that literally supports life as we know it, life on Earth. We now have a golden opportunity and a pressing need to recapture that pioneering spirit. A new era of ocean exploration can yield discoveries that will help inform everything from critical medical advances to sustainable forms of energy. Consider that AZT, an early treatment for HIV, is derived from a Caribbean reef sponge, or that a great deal of energy from offshore wind to OTEC which stands for Ocean Thermal Energy Conservation, to wind and wave energy, is yet untapped in our oceans. Like unopened presents under the tree, the ocean is a treasure trove of knowledge. In addition, such discoveries will have a tremendous impact on economic growth by creating jobs, as well as technologies and goods. In addition to new discoveries, we also have the opportunity to course correct when it comes to stewardship of our oceans. Research and exploration can go hand in glove with resource management and conservation. 
Over the last several decades, as the United States has been exploring space, we've exploited and polluted our oceans at an alarming rate without dedicating the needed time or resources to truly understand the critical role they play in the future of the planet. It is not trite to say that the oceans are the life support system of this planet, providing us with up to 70% of our oxygen, as well as a primary source of protein for billions of people, not to mention the regulation of our climate. Despite this life-giving role, the world has fished, mined, and trafficked the ocean's resources to a point where we are actually seeing dramatic changes that are seriously impacting today's generations. And that impact will continue as the world's population approaches 7 billion people, adding strain to the world's resources unlike any humanity has ever had to face before. In the long term, destroying our ocean resources is bad business, with devastating consequences for the global economy and the health and sustainability of all creatures, including humans. Marine spatial planning, marine sanctuaries, species conservation, sustainable fishing strategies, and more must be a part of any ocean exploration and conservation program to provide hope of restoring health to our oceans. While there is still much to learn and discover through space exploration, we also need to pay attention to our unexplored world here on Earth. Our next big leap into the unknown can be every bit as exciting and bold as our pioneering work in space. It possesses the same wow factor. Alien worlds, dazzling technological feats, and the mystery of the unknown. The United States has the scientific muscle the diplomatic know-how, and the entrepreneurial spirit to lead the world in exploring and protecting our ocean frontier. Now we need the public demand and political will and bravery to take the plunge in order to ensure that the oceans can continue to provide life to future generations. Today is a big step in that direction, and hopefully it is just the beginning.